All right, guys. So in this video, I am going to feature an upcoming layer three infrastructure protocol known as Hepton. The GM everyone, this is Nomad Fury, so before we begin, kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that I have right here in this video and in the description, as this is only intended for educational and informative purposes, and just to be fair and transparent to all, this video review and inside of mine is going to be unbiased. So if you choose to participate in this project, well, that's on you already, your money, your decision, your risk, your responsibility. So proceed with caution. Anyways, let's begin. Okay guys, so this is what I am talking about. The Hepton Layer 3 Infrastructure Protocol in which they're aiming to increase Ethereum interoperability and focus on Web3 application efficiency. All of the source links are just right here on the video description. And of course, um, you could see right here if you want to build now. So it will head us over to its infrastructure. So it will open a new tab like this one. So this is the doc section of Hepton. If you want to learn some in-depth information, well, it's all right here, guys. Okay. And also, guys, you can claim 0.5 HTE. So HTE, guys, is the ticker symbol of Hepton. So if you want to do that, so I'm going to open a new tab. Let's say, for example, I input my Hepton address. So, um, it says right here, give me HTE. So, I say 0.5. So, I have to complete this. And let's see what happens. So, processing my request. My wallet has been funded. So, um, we could also choose the Peggy tokens right here from 0.1 to something like this. Okay. So, you can see the sections right here, such as the developer, the light paper, their blog, and their grants application via GitHub. And uh, speaking of that, if you're interested in this, okay, so all the details are just right here. I am going to uh, share this link on the description and uh, let's scroll down. So here are the features of Hapton in which it has a side chain with EVM compatibility. So the purpose is to onboard multiple Web3 ecosystems such as Ethereum in which the POS itself brings the same compatibility as the Ethereum itself. So they're on a proof of stake consensus algorithm and they are more scalable thanks to the EIP-1559 in which they're implemented on the Hepton POS. So overall, the existing transaction fee system on Ethereum that was proposed by the co-founder of Ethereum known as Vitalik Buterin in which I have met him years ago and used by its sovereignty. And they have a one-of-a-kind scaling solution in which they're providing to scale Ethereum through the infrastructure of Sidechain and ZK rolled up. And they have a low latency and instant finality in which it ensures minimal latency and all of the transactions are promised to be executed very quickly. And that's a good thing. And they're also promised to be irreversible after processing resulting in immediate finality. So when it comes to initiating blockchain transactions, they are irreversible that's the thing once you have executed it it cannot be reversed and of course one of their important features is the sturdy security in which it is secured by a pool of professional validators and ethereum itself and of course this is environmental friendly in which they are using the green technology so proof of stake doesn't require electricity but with a proof of stake the mining goes greener and this is what Hepton has in store for us as well. And of course, what are those stuff that are built on Hepton, by the way? So they have a peer-to-peer -peer model. So without any central intermediary, we can send from one wallet to the other. No interference whatsoever. The ecosystem is fully decentralized and has high security for the cross-border transactions. And of course... They have DeFi as well, in which they are providing a sidechain that is as capable as Ethereum, but it is more scalable and suits the need of the DeFi infrastructure. When Ethereum is still on a proof-of-work model, so scalability is always the number one issue. 
even if the proof of stake on ethereum has uh, significantly improved you know um but there is still a little bit of um scalability issue which is not that bad as the past but when it comes to hepton well so it's quite capable as ethereum as well and of course what i really like about these projects is what we call the dao so we all know how dao works so once a founder is going to propose on something all of the members of that organization who are participants like they are staking a certain amount of tokens in order to participate in this uh, governance model so the decision is based on the votes of those users and not the founder of that specific project that's how the DAO works especially right here on hepton and of course nfts are possible right here so one of the issues that we are experiencing nowadays in other blockchains no disrespect to them though is simply no other than the minting fee so like we want to do a free mint but sometimes we cannot afford so what hepton does is that it can offer us minting fee with as low as almost zero and that's a good thing and of course they have a smart contract platform but can be concluded as a paradise for contract writers or developers due to the fee that is really low no matter how the contract is so yeah just like what they have mentioned fees are the issues right now in these common blockchains today this is what hepton is trying to solve when it comes to the fees especially in the smart contract and of course it was developed by hep labs dao that was proposed by the founding members of Hepton. So their vision is to create a decentralized future for web and applications. So yes, Web3 is the future. Although that it may not totally replace Web2, but we can say that Web3 is the future. We could see a maximum potential of the Web3 industry. And of course, um, here is some info. So Hepton Pause is a side chain of Ethereum through root mapping verifier or RMP in short and integrated with EIP-1559 for network efficiency while the Hepton Standra is a layer 3 network based on the ZK rollup technology for the data proof so if you want to join the community so you can do so by just clicking right here it will head you over to the official telegram group of Hepton and of course they have a newsletter here as well so you just have to enter your email address and other important things that you really need to know especially their other socials like the twitter they also have the forum and the github and of course guys hepton has an upcoming priority iko on the communitas launchpad so these are the details right here guys so it will start on april 12 2023 9 a.m utc so you could see all the details, the price, the vesting, and the target amount that they're going to raise. And of course, more information right here from the booster one, the booster two, the first conference round, and the community round, and the token details right here. Okay, so it's under the Ethereum network. But of course, just a reminder, participate at your own risk because there are no guarantees or promises whatsoever for the price of this token when it gets listed to various exchanges later on. So we just don't know what would happen next. So proceed with caution. Now, regarding my honest opinion about Hepton, so we all know that they're still in their early stages of development. You know, as a layer 3 infrastructure protocol, well, we have yet to see it in action for now so as of the moment i cannot say anything whether hepton is going to meet our overall expectations or not so i'm just going to stay neutral on this and as for claiming 0.5 hte so this is not yet under the mainnet it's still on the test net just to clarify to all of you so with all of this info that i have shared to you guys but let's just see the uh, ongoing and future developments of Hepton to see if they are going to um, meet our expectations. Especially when it comes to their token price later on. So there you have it guys. At least I have shared to you regarding Hepton which is a layer 3 infrastructure protocol as well as its features, its upcoming campaign on the Communitas Launchpad and so much more. So if you want more details so it's just right here on the video description. So once again, peeps, kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that I have right here in this video and in the description as this is only intended for educational and informative purposes. And just to be fair and transparent to all, this video review and inside of mine is going to be unbiased. 
So if you choose to take part of this project, well, that's on you already. Your money, your decision, your risk, your responsibility. And I do not promote any financial or investment advice because cryptocurrencies like this one are subject to substantial risk and are prone to high volatility depending on the market conditions. And not only that, this doesn't give any promises or astronomical guaranteed returns. So participate at your own risk. So if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, kindly do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your crypto and non-crypto friends out there, especially those who are so enthusiastic about Web3, blockchain, and so much more. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoyed watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury and I'll see you all on my next video.